और कैसे हो भाई लोग यहाँ पे बाबी कार्डिक की गांड फट गई लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन कमिंग एट यू विद एन इमरजेंसी वीडियो हियर बिकॉज़ एवरीबॉडी इज गोइंग ऑफ सो यस्टरडे वी एक्चुअली हैड सम गुड न्यूज़ राइट वी हर्ड दैट बाबी कार्डिक इज ऑफिशियली नो लोंगर द सीईओ of activation blizzard let's go for two likes on the video guys because finally and maybe and i got to stress this a big maybe that maybe in the future call of duty is going to turn out to be good stop the cap i'm not capping maybe there's a big maybe right now so he peaced out and this is today was his final day as ceo you guys can see plus 400 million because he ended up getting 400 million dollars so long bozo one guy said y'all tapping w but the only one walking away with the w is bobby himself with the fat payout primitive actually have a point though primitive does have a point and quickly after this actually turns pretty dark so shout out to the homie tx gamer 7 for adding me in this situation yeah Thank you for speaking out on Bobby at Skizzle. Proceed, blame Crit. J Bobby, not blame Crit. Y'all gotta see this because Christina actually, uh, maybe strong, maybe independent. We're not talking about that, guys. Bruh. Maybe in the next video. I know you guys uh, want me to continuously talk about strong, independent, but th 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 it's not the time today, guys. We're next time. We're gonna okay. I worked on Call of Duty for two years as a programmer. She wrote, or maybe he. I'm not sure whether it's a he or she. Okay, like listen, I'm not sure. Okay, don't assume genders. At Demon Weir, Bobby's decision made our games worse. In my first month, it came out he threatened to have an employee killed. Oh shit! Oh shit! In the all hands that followed, no one wanted to speak first, so I demanded. his firing in front of everyone damn that's crazy and she goes on and she is writing books right now she's going in ganging she's talking about everything and uh, she is responding then this happens oh shit jake lucky officer lucky was patrolling that night and he obviously we got the screenshot of this uh, we we just covered that and then however we have this Andy, he him, strong independent, I guess. Breaking my silence, he says. Uh, I I know it's kind of like hard to see, but if you zoom in on your mobile now, you can see Andy, he him. Bruh. So he him uh, says that breaking my silence to share a fun fact. When we planned Overwatch 2 stream launch, my team warned months in advance that we're going to get review bombed. We begged for more information, more details, and more resources to help us with the anticipated influx. All flatly denied. and this is probably not going to stop right like this is an ongoing situation bobby just left the scene with 400 dollar 400 not 400 dollars 400 million dollars god damn Can our brother get four pennies? And this is that video that I want to also show you, man. It's gonna get very, very toxic, guys. Get your toxic uh, goggles on, cause uh, it's gonna be really, really toxic. Like and share, subscribe if you're new, and let's uh, check this out. Pretty hard, as far as Activision and Call of Duty is concerned. And what do I mean by that? Well, I'm sitting here about to make uh, my planned video for today, and then somebody tags me in something else, and I have yeah. to switch gears and change what I'm gonna make a video on. Yeah, just... Bryce Bri is coming out with an emergency video. Get here. right on. to it. Let's just let's just show you this straight up verbatim. I worked on COD for 2 years yeah. as a programmer. Yeah, we talked about it so we're going to skip it here. Next, next, next. Let's hear his thoughts. Isn't it? Now, we're going to get more in depth into this in just a second. And this okay. is I, I looked it up. This is a true statement. I yeah. don't think I've covered this before on the channel. I may be wrong. I've covered so many problems and nah, like let's be real, bro. You probably have already covered, man. You probably have covered every controversy surrounding Call of Duty, okay? You probably have covered literally the only thing that you have not covered which is just sad to me because all my homies have talked about it and we covered this pretty extensively on the channel and you know we talked about the fact that we don't want to have this say eh, 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 eh. <laughs> you know what's coming guys you know what's coming really Yeah, you know what I mean. So we talked. That's the only thing you did not talk about. Blame. Come on, blame truth. Expressions and issues with like Call of Duty, Activision, Bobby Kotick, etc. Maybe I'm just forgetting, but I'll get back into that in just a second. Okay. Okay. This is not good. Someone speaking out the day of his resignation about how he's a piece of garbage. But what's interesting about this is this is one person. I can't imagine how many more yeah. people are going to say something now that mm. he's gone. And yeah, the second one just came on. Jake like he's talking about it as well. And here's the thing, right? Emergency meeting real quick, boys. Emergency meeting. Do you think do you think that 
in the coming months obviously we're not gonna see massive effects right now we're surely gonna see either like positive effects or maybe nothing gonna happen or maybe worse effects in the coming months i feel like that right now phil spencer and xbox have fully taken over obviously a couple of months ago they actually acquired it uh, and the deal went through i'm talking about the microsoft xbox activision deal that went through so xbox has officially acquired it and now more so than ever because they are taken in charge so bobby Kotick just pieced out took 400 million and he's he's out with his golden parachute right do you think one if you believe that call of duty is going to turn out to be good two if you think it's gonna be the same old same old three if you believe that it's gonna turn out somehow magically worse than halo infinite and y you know what i mean right like they're gonna make it into 30 fps crap and uh bullshit and, and all that i truly think there is hope right now because uh, you know phil spencer they uh, I, I think he's a gamer i think he's a gamer at heart i think he has best interest for gamers obviously he still have a business to run like let's not suck anyone's schlong right now jim ryan uh, phil spencer both of them lies both of them are are legally required by law to make money i'm talking about the stock market stock market is public they are legally obligated and they are required to make more money than god for their shareholders okay like the video if that's the truth bomb for you because this is one of those concepts that suckers don't believe suckers are like okay phil spencer i want to suck his d right now jim ryan i want to suck his d right now you know that's how the gaming community actually is uh, they're like yeah jim ryan yeah, yeah, yeah. jim ryan is lying phil spencer is lying both of them are lying guys what are you gonna do but i do have uh, i do feel like that out of everything phil spencer definitely has good interest for gamers i believe that maybe i'm gonna be proven wrong and if i'm proven wrong my opinion would surely change in the coming months let's find out has no power over them in their jobs i mean seriously we're talking about oh i don't know probably tens of thousands of employees and devs at this point who knows what the hell is going to come out and, and who knows what's going to happen now yeah. that microsoft has taken over and mr kodak has left for a uh, greener pastures and yes that's kind of a ginger gnome lawn ornament joke but i'm not going to get Bruh. too far into that because we're <laughs> highbrow here on blame truth the codfather youtube channel Highbrow, very highbrow. We're like the rocks highbrow. I, I think Call of Duty 2024 has a real shot right now. And we had new leaks recently. I made a video on the channel. So de definitely check so that out afterwards. Guys, this is just, I mean, I don't know what to say, man. Let's let us actually look into these let's claims. Let's get into like, it. Seriously, let's actually look into these claims here. Let, let's keep going with the Twitter thread, though. Christina says, I get that I am very loud and very annoying and that with my seniority and ease of other opportunities, that affords me certain protections and safety to do such uh -huh. things. Talking uh -huh. about the original tweet, that is. But you all need to get on board this train. We all need to revolt against people like this every time. If I'd been fired, I had several other companies hovering in the wings, but that is why it is on senior staff to dig their heels in. Juniors will not feel safe doing that until their leaders do it first. We may not have unions, but we do have power if we work together. Ask the loud, annoying question in all hands. Make it short. Direct to the point and leave no room for waffling in response. Make it sharp, direct, and do it with clarity and without anger so they can't attack your delivery. They won't answer, but everyone will see it. Uh -huh. Write down what she said. Keep notes in case HR pings you. Record yourself saying it in the meeting if you can Damn. so that you have evidence of exactly what happened. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. She is making a YouTube tutorial right now, bro. <laughs> She's making a YouTube tutorial, bro. Okay, She's smart, bro. She's smart as hell. WWW. W. I, I like that. I like that. I like that. Always record. Cameras. Cameras on. Goggles on, everybody. Goggles on, okay? Goggles on. Because piss-weak executives will take their exposed failure personally. Demonware protected me, but other places won't. Damn. Have I not been saying to do this for the past five years i'm not about to make this about me because it's not about me yo what game is that this kind of reminds me of one one of the maps that we had in black ops 2 but i, I think it's titanfall uh, it's not about me yeah, at all, truthfully i want no credit for this but have i not been saying speak up don't let the these companies walk on you and i mean this is like from the inside of course but it extends outward to the player base to the customer base to the people that paid hard-earned money to play these games Speak out against bullshit. Repeat after me. Everyone that's just saying in my comment section, maybe you're typing it out right now like the little piss ant you are. Maybe you're typing out, well, if you don't like it, just don't play the game. Uh, stop complaining, BT. I can't believe you complain so much. Shut the fuck up. All right? Complain. Don't be a little bitch. Complain when things are not as they should be. Speak up when things are not as they should be. I 
for one, am, am very, very happy this person spoke up, but also I'm very happy that Bobby Kotick's out of this ring uh, of terror. Okay, okay, well, uh, we uh, appreciate this. We appreciate this. And seriously, I can't imagine this from the perspective of these poor employees. I feel bad for ever criticizing a Call of Duty dev in any way at this point because I think at a certain okay, yeah, on this one real quick, right? Guys, I yeah, this is one of those things, right? Like some people are like, okay, bro, like I wanna complain, but I do not know how to complain. Bruh. I do not know who to complain. Because I think it's Activision's fault. Bruh. But wait, the devs made Call of Duty, so I think it's the devs fault. Bruh. But Activision is the publisher, so I'm not sure. And you know, things are always get confused. Things are always like, bro, I'm not sure who to complain to, bruh. I need to complain. I need to win my frustration with Call of Duty. You know, with all these BBC bundles that are being in the game, campaigns being shorter than this BBC length as well. Bruh. And also, let's just keep up on 50, bro. Like, what, they, what the hell Call of Duty has turned into, right? Call of Duty is looking so bad right now. So when Sigis say that, I'm not sure like who to complain to, is it the devs fault, is it the Activision fault, this is where I'm also at, I'm like bro, I, I blame both of them equally, in the very beginning I was like Activision, 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 it's the Activision's fault, Activision, then I was like it's the devs fault, it's the devs fault, then I'm like in the middle, then I'm like it's Activision only, then I'm like it's devs only, right now I'm like, I'm blaming both of them equally, but I would like to actually take a chance. I would like to take a chance this time and say it was all Activision's fault, it was all Bobby Kotick's fault. Most probably not. Uh, majority, yes, but most probably not, right? There are, there are a lot of other cogs in the system. In the coming months, we're truly gonna find out whose fault it was, right? Was it just Bobby Kotick or was it more than just Bobby Kotick? In the coming months, we're gonna know, especially with Call of Duty 2024. And guess what? Call of Duty 2024 got leaked. Oh, shit. We oh, have shit. its first leaks. Click on this video on the screen. Check it out. On the left, though, we got all the best ultra realistic games that are coming out for 2024. Check both of these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.